Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So if you are also confused which programming language you should start learning in 2025 as your first programming language in this AI era, it's Python, C, C++, Java, JavaScript, then this video is for you. Actually, the thing is, the answer is not same for everyone. We know that everyone is different. So the answer is also not same for everyone. It depends on you. But yeah, if you say that, ma'am, we are the one, we don't know anything, what to do, we are just a beginner, you just say one language and we start learning that. We want to uh, stay relevant in this AI era. So the answer of this question also you will get. Don't worry. In this video, I'll just try to give you a crystal clear roadmap so that at, a, at the last, you can pick the right language as your first language in 2025. So watch the video till then because every second of this video is worth to watch. We know that AI is everywhere. From your phone to your career, it's in like in every domain, it's in every industry. So now, today in 2025, choosing a any one programming language, it's not just to learn code. No, it's about to stay relevant, future proofing your uh, skills, and definitely unlocking amazing, powerful job opportunity for you. That's why you want to learn. It's not that you just want to learn how to code and that's it. Because that AI can do easily. AI can simply write the code. And better than you, maybe. So you have to do more than that. Not just write the code. So I'll try, try to break down the things in this video according to your background and your goals. So that you can choose the best language for future. So very first thing. If it's like if you are going to start, you don't know anything. You say that ma'am, ma I'm just going to start now. I don't have any coding experience, no, no knowledge of any programming language at all. And I want to stay relevant in this AI era. And I don't know anything what to do. I haven't decided my career. I don't know my interest, whether it's web development, app development or whatever. I don't know anything. So the language you should start with is the best language. You should start with this, uh, uh, taking care of all this uh, circumstances we have right now, AI era and <laughs> that kind of thing. So the best language is Python, for sure. Start learning with this. Okay. I'll explain also why Python. But second point, second point. If, if you are, suppose, if you know, if you are the one, maybe third year, final year student. Okay. You, you are in third year or final year, third year or fourth year. So now I know you must be searching for like, obviously, uh, job and all you want a good placement you are aiming for those big tech companies big tech roles and that kind of thing right in that case start with java or c++ you can see java is still widely used in the industries yes at enterprise level at the large level by the top tech companies as well there are so many job openings you will see as well as salary is also good so i would recommend go for either c++ or java it's up to you Okay, but Java would be like having more opportunity than C++. Yeah, if you focus more on performance, like you want to go in that field, maybe robotics or HFT kind of thing, high frequency trading. In those fields, their uh, performance is critical. In that field, C++ is crucial. But either C++ or Java, both are good. You can choose anyone. Now, rather than wasting time, which to choose, watch many uh, other programming, uh, sorry, other uh, videos also, C++ or Java, what to choose, no. Just pick one and start learning. Because the thing is, if you know one language, anyone, and these are considered as the tough languages, yeah, complex. If you know these languages, any one language, if you are good in any one programming language, learning any other programming language would be really easy for you. Especially Python. Python is the easiest language. So if you have already learned some complex or hard languages, because you know, you will get too familiar if you go for the, these languages like memory management, OOPS concept, algorithms in detail and in a very good manner. Your concept would be, your fundamental would be very strong. So picking up any other language, Python-like language would be very simple for you. Within one month, you will be expert in Python also. It's not a big deal. Okay. So if you are in this stage, choose any one from this. Okay. If you are interested to learn Java, then I have a course also, Java um, Java from scratch. You can enroll in that course. So you can check out this course. The link you will get in the description box of this video. Don't worry, you can go and check out. You'll be covering everything, every concept in detail from scratch. And you will get live uh, doubt resolution session every week. So there you can ask out. Plus, 
uh, access to a dedicated WhatsApp group also. There also you can ask your doubts. Okay. So if you are interested, you can go and enroll in this course. And see, it's not that, yeah, we know, you know, how hard the, you have heard the term about AI agents, chat, what you want to build. So in Java also, you can build these things. But yeah, it's complex than Python because Python, Python is an easy language. Many of the ML libraries are in Python. But in Java also, you can do the same thing. But it would be a little bit complex for you. But for now, for third year final year student, I would recommend go for C++ and Java. If you don't know anything, if you want to learn a programming language um, okay, for your career. So go for this. Parallelly, after that, you can learn Python as well. Later, if once you will be good in one language, okay, because DSC is also important. So you will uh, go for DSC also to get a good placement. After that, parallelly, you can learn Python also. It's not that much. Okay. And see, if you are a first year student, you think that, okay, we are also going to start. We don't know anything. So, you know, definitely uh, you have in your curriculum either C or C++, the, these languages. Next, you have Java. So, stick with that. First thing is, don't think that, okay, Python is a language for AI, so I'll learn Python. I'll not focus on this. No. First thing, your CGPA matters. So, you have to maintain your CGPA also. And why still they teach C in the first semester? Because C is still the fundamental language of all the languages. It's the fundamental language, the base. Okay. If you get this C, okay, this is tough. That's why they you have to learn first C. Because if you get the first, the tough language, you get to know the uh, hardware level kind of thing, memory management and everything you understand if you are good in C. Okay. Then it would be very easy for you to pick C++, Java or even Python. Python is really easy. That's why. Okay, start with this on, also, all, only stick with your curriculum at first, right? You have to maintain your CGP also because maybe seniors say that CGP doesn't matter. But yes, it matters a lot. While you are going to set an interview, there is a de uh, eligibility criteria, criteria also that only 70 uh, above 75% can sit there, can sit in this interview or placement. Sometime in the case of Thai, they filter out student based on CGPA. It shows that if you have 8 or 9 CGPA rather than 6 or 5, it shows that you can manage, you have managed your studies very well with other things also. You can handle pressure, pressure also. You, you manage your studies, you are good. Okay. So it reflects your um, definitely the good or the positive capabilities, positive sides, positive points. So maintain that. So don't worry, stick with this. And start with C or C plus or whatever you want to learn. Python after that, once you're good in these languages, build some 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 projects, then parallelly go for Python as well. It's okay. Right? Now, if suppose you are the one, suppose you know your interest. These are the things, those who don't know their interest. Now you know your interest. Suppose you are maybe second year or even third year student, you know your interest that you are good in web development. You are good in some other kind of thing. You want to go in this field. So rather than leaving that field, and now this is AI era, everything is going on this AI ML kind of thing. I learn Python, I learn this, this, this thing. No, this will not work for everyone. If I am good at, at something, so definitely I'll do that thing only. Okay, rather than just leave that and from scratch start another thing in which I don't have interest. Maybe I'll not have an interest in that thing. So if you know that you are good in web development, suppose for web. JavaScript. JavaScript is the king of web for sure. So start with JavaScript. And you have to be very good in this. Not, the, not just that like you are doing front-end development. No, that will not work. Only back-end development. That is, will not work nowadays because the, this is, the, the competition is so high. Front-end, you know, back-end also. You have, you have to handle databases also. You can also integrate AI APIs also in your website or whatever you do. This thing is important. So you have to go deep dive, deep dive, uh, dive in, into this field, whatever in which you are good. So suppose web app, then JavaScript, learn JavaScript. Then for integration of API, maybe you can learn parallelly Python. Because why I'm saying at every stage Python, either you can go parallelly Python, because yeah, I agree that Python is the language. Python is, you can say, the backbone of artificial intelligence. If you have, you, you have make your mind, if you are, you are in this direction. You want to go in this direction only. AI, ML, data science, machine learning, and Gen AI. The language is Python. Python wins at every stage. Python, Python, Python. Because most of it's very first thing. It's simple. Syntax is simple English uh, type syntax is there. It's not easy. Second thing, 
all the many ml libraries like you can say uh, pytorch kera skykit learn tensorflow opencv hugging face transformer you know even the transformer is the this is the power behind chat gpt and these google bard these models they use python everywhere you see python the libraries written in python whether you are going to build a chatbot you want to integrate apis uh, ai apis into your website or something like this python is the language so yes definitely python wins everywhere in this field especially but i'll not say that you are in final year just leave everything go for python that's not a good idea if you are third year you are good in some other thing web development or app development or any other kind of thing game development just leave that go for ai ml no you have to be good in that field only parallelly start learning python okay because the thing is only just choosing a language learning that is not that much like um, a big deal what you have to learn no matter what language you pick you have to learn have to integrate first thing have to integrate ai apis this is really important whatever language you choose in javascript also java also or maybe python you choose have to integrate ai apis like chat gpt gemini cloud ai like maybe if you are building your own chatbot so you can just integrate these uh, chat gpt or this open ai model you just have a api key and you can integrate that you can use that model because there are already in 2025 there are so many we have those these uh, powerful ai models you don't have to build any ai model from scratch even we can't even build because it's expensive and time consuming and all so just use them whatever you want to do you can create your own chatbot virtual assistant and this kind of thing so if you want to go in this field also then there is also one course uh, my course generative ai for beginners there will be building a chatbot also so you can check out this course generative ai for beginners from basics to chatbot creation so basics also will cover like what is ai what is ml what is dl deep learning history of ai some key concept like tokenization embedding llms okay prompt engineering rag fine tuning and finally a mini project we will we will create a chatbot also from my notes i'll upload the pdf of my notes and it will answer from those notes so that kind of mini project also, mini project also. so that kind of mini project it's just an 8 hour course for beginners so if you are interested you can go and check out this also the link you will get in the description box of this video you need to understand this thing how to integrate ai apis this is really important nowadays in this ai era how you can integrate these ai apis next is you how you can automate task whatever task maybe some simple task are doing email responding or this kind of thing some write something just try to automate these task in a, using ai try to build some projects that can solve like uh, real world ai applications not just simple to do apps or kind of thing okay that kind of project build projects so these things are important it's not important which programming language you pick to so somewhat maybe it's important but not after that because it's not that just pick one language one technology one framework and you will survive in this field no you will never survive over the period of time once you go in this field or industry you have to learn many languages you have to learn other framework you have to learn new technologies so learning will never going to end don't think that i'll pick one language just stick to that language and that's it my task is done no it's not it's not going to happen okay it just that don't waste your time like thinking that which programming language i, I should choose pick one and for no, for students who don't know anything who are just starting who are from non tech background from commerce arts or any other, other background language is python for sure it's the number one language okay and especially for this ai field also many libraries tons of libraries you will get in python language used in ai machine learning and uh, gen ai or deep learning in this thing many libraries next is second thing is if you are from cs background you know have some coding knowledge and all so it depends on your interest and something like this either you can go for java also or python also or whatever i have described that thing also in which year you are according to that you start learning but it's not that okay once go for java only maybe sometimes okay 
uh, you will get really good opportunities. You are good in that. You have built some projects and you get on campus placement or maybe off campus placement. Very good. Um, like uh, you can say um, at high level post you reach. Still, you have to learn. So then also, because it's AI kind of thing. So you have to use AI tools, AI APIs and all. So Python will be required. So parallelly, you have to learn Python as well. It's not tough. It's easy. I have a YouTube playlist also that is free of course. You can go and check out that for beginners. Okay. For Python also. The link I'll put in the description box of this video. You go and check out. So language are just the tools. But the main important thing is problem solving. Problem solving plus AI integration. You have, if you have these skills, you are good to go. Problem solving skills plus AI integration skill. You can integrate AI also in your whatever app, website and all. Language are just tools. Any language you can use. In Java also, even chatbot you can create. Not required Python. In J JavaScript also, in Java also. Yeah, that was like a little bit tough because these languages are complex. But very powerful. And for problem solving skills, you have to go for DSA also. I mean, if you are good in DSA, means ultimately um, it proves that your problem solving skills are really good. So DSA is also important. So these basic things are important. Language, programming languages, problem solving skills, like DSA kind of thing. If you want to go in the CI field also, if you want to be a good AI engineer, ML engineer or anything, you have to understand the code behind the code, the code, how the code is working. How you can write down the prompt if you don't know anything. I know, suppose I have an, I understood about time complexity, space complexity. So I can easily tell the chat GPT that you have to write a code with this much of time complexity and all you can optimize. Please optimize this code accordingly. But if you don't know anything about what is time complexity, what is space complexity. So can you give a right prompt? No, you can't give. So you have to understand things also to go in this AI field. Right? Okay, so now if you want to learn DSA also, then for this also we have a course. <laughs> you can check out on my website, DSA with Java course. I'll put the link also. But now the offer is, if you, that is DSA with Java course combined. But if you think that you are good in Java, you want, you want only the DSA part. For that, I'll give you a coupon code. You can apply the coupon code DSA45. DSA45. So you'll get, you will get extra discount, 45% discount on that price and you will get only DSA part. That's it. It will help you. So in DSA and in Java course, both the courses you will get live doubt resolution session every week and dedicated WhatsApp group also. Okay. You go and check out. But this, this DSA only option is for limited time. After that, there is no such kind of option available. DSA only part. It would be both a DSA plus Java. And there is no this huge discount available. So right now you can go and check out. So I hope this video will help you to pick your language in 2025 but for sure python is the powerful language but it's not that it's for everyone i have discussed this thing also it depends okay but ultimately you have to parallel parallelly uh, go for python as well okay but that's very easy if you are good in any one language to pick another language would be very easy for you not tough don't worry but at least start. Pick any language and start learning that language. Don't just think and search on YouTube which language I should learn and all. Don't waste time. Right now, start uh, learning any language. If you don't have anything to do now, start learning. Okay? Go and search my Java course and apply and learn. Start learning Java. If Python, then on YouTube you will get many Python uh, courses also. My course, course is also there. You start learning. Okay, and share this video with your friends and in your group so that they can also uh, will be uh, benefited from this video because this is question of almost 90% student nowadays, which language I should start learning first, especially in this AI era. Maybe it will help them. Okay, and let me just write down, let me just know in comment section that which language you are learning, you are starting in 2025. Okay, if you have any more doubt, you can just ask me in comment section also, that also. So now I'll see you in the next lecture, next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.